I, so two, two things to remember, you know, feeling way down is just as bad as feeling way up. And so what I started to do, because you know, you have all these successes, and then all of a sudden, even if you're having successes, you feel like, it, this is what happens to athletes, why they do drugs and alcohol, because they have big victories and they feel way, way up. You know, so what I do is I focus on this part here, meaning I'm always focused in on that I'm always connected to, the, to what inspires me. I don't take breaks, I don't take time off, I don't believe in work, I believe in activity, I get paid for activity, I don't. I'm constantly looking over here going, how can I clear the connection to that which inspires me? If something makes me starting to feel low, I go back up to the top. So the analogy I love to use is, if a car is sitting on top of the hill in San Francisco, and it starts to go downhill, most of us just let it go downhill and at the bottom of the hill we try to stop it and we wonder why we're run over. We made it to the top of the hill, now we're run over. Well, what I do is right when the car starts coming down, all it takes is a, is a little pinky to hold it up, right? So I immediately, when it starts coming down, I go back this way, not jumping on the car going downhill in the wrong trajectory. So I don't let myself go way up high and I definitely am never low, and it's all in between six inches for me. It's all a mindset I literally ask myself, can I see this differently? It's another way of saying however. How can I see this differently? Instead of this initial emotional reaction, I didn't get the car, darn it, it's a loss, a shortage, a void, an obstacle, a disappointment. I immediately go to, because emotionally, I have an emotion that's called disappointment. I'm like, oh. Just at first, then I put the pinky up and push it back and say, how can I look at this differently? Oh, I know how, something better is coming. Why is it a difference statistically, if I didn't get the car, can anyone statistically tell me why I'm not better off than worse off? Like mathematically, logically, data-wise, so if I didn't get the car after 20 years, can anyone mathematically prove to me I'm worse off or better off? You can't, right? So why not, if you're gonna choose one or the two? Because the minute you decide that you're better off, now you have a mathematical advantage, it's called a possibility. And then if you put some intent behind it, you have another mathematical advantage, it's called a probability. Compared to negative or nothing. You have no chance of having it be better. The minute you say, I'm disappointed, this is it, the end, you have no chance of it being better. It's automatically worse. The minute you say it's gonna be better, you have a possibility, a probability, which then becomes your reality, a perspective. That's the transition, possibility to probability to your perspective, and your perspective is your reality. I can hand us all something to eat, right? Uh, Viktor Frankl from you know, the doctor that the extremely successful doctor that was in the Holocaust used to at, eat fish head in water, dirty disease, people dying all around him in the Holocaust. In his mind, it was delicious. That was his perspective. Can't deny it. There's no data saying it wasn't delicious. <laughs> it's his perspective. Right, I used to, my perspective, I think part of the reason I was successful is I, when I was in my last year of law school, recession, $100,000 of law loans, older brother passed away after dreaming of being a doctor, he's finally a doctor, 28 years old, parents getting divorced, my mom got remarried to my stepdad, who's super cool to me, and I sat there going, God, if you just will give me a job to pay back my law loans and buy my mom a house and a car, I'll shovel shit with my hands six days a week 12 hours a day and be grateful. That was my perspective. That's how much I wanted it. And I felt it when Tito Ortiz was in there, how much he wanted what he has. And I said, ah, th that's where perspective is so important. So perspective is a muscle, you need to train it. How do you train it? Every day. How do we get things to do every day? Lower the bar. Start with something and just do one thing a day and say thank you when I go to bed. It'll build. Most of you are so young, exponential growth, 20 years becomes two million times, right? First year could be two, in 20 years, two times two times two, times, it becomes two million in 20 years. You all will be, almost every single one of you, except for this guy, will be younger than me. <laughs> but almost, <laughs> yeah. Great questions.